Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an HP 255G5. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your speakers. So first thing guys, power down the computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip it over to access our bottom case screws. So you have these three screws along the bottom edge, these three screws here toward the middle, these two toward the upper middle, and then these two right here underneath your battery. Now to get your battery out, you're gonna take both of these sliders and you're gonna slide them into each other toward the center of the computer. Then you can slide your battery out by sliding it away from the computer. After getting all those screws out, there are two hidden screws underneath these two rubber feet here. So you right here on, on that line. So that top part stays, this bottom part from that line folds down. So you can peel that up and it will reveal a screw on either side. After taking all the screws out, you're gonna take a small flat pry tool and you're gonna go across the seam all the way around the computer to pry the bottom case off. Now this bottom case was a little bit of a pain, uh, so you're gonna have to be very firm, go slow, uh, be patient, and don't put the pry tool too far into the computer. You can damage some internal components, just keep it on the edge. And if you get stuck in one area, leave it, go around and continue on in the other direction. After you get the bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of the computer. Now, as a side note, guys, for any computer repair project, I always have my computer sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in the computer when you're working on it. If you need any help with tools or supplies for your project, There'll be a link above, also below in the description. It'll show you many of the tools and supplies that I use in my shop. And I will also include in that link all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model, the 225G5. So the speakers are pretty easy to access. You have this one in the top right of my screen, this one in the left of my screen. So those are your two speakers. This one doesn't plug into the motherboard. The wires run here all the way to this speaker. And then this speaker plugs into the motherboard right here. As a side note, guys, when you're reinstalling speakers, if you're replacing these, make sure you run them in the exact same way. Take a picture or something so you know the exact way to run it. Because remember, the bottom case closes and snaps in over here. So if your wires are not run exactly the way they should be, they could get crimped when you go to put your bottom case on, and that could damage those wires. So just keep that in mind. Whenever you're dealing with wires in a computer, you never want to pull on the wires if at all possible. You want to just manipulate that plug. So this plug here, it has a grip on either side. You can use your fingernails or a pry tool to get that out of this port right there. You, you can push over here a little bit, push on the left, push on the right, and wiggle that right out of that port. And I guess as a last side note with a speaker repair, if you're seeing sound issues, maybe it, it's too low, it sounds bad, maybe your speakers aren't working, it is possible that your speakers are bad and need to be replaced, but it could be something else. It could be a software issue, an update issue, a driver issue. Um, so up top, as well as below in the description, I'll have a video tutorial on how to run all of your updates, make sure your computer and your drivers and everything are completely updated so you can rule that out before you start opening up your computer, coming in here to physically replace your speakers. It, it may save you some time, expense, and hassle. But I hope that was helpful. This is how you access your speakers in the 255 G5. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation. And there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.